넌 정말 좋겠다 Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome to this video, thank you very much for clicking on it, I really appreciate it. Today, the boys are back. Every time I say that, I think of that one song from High School Musical. The High School Musical 3? Yeah. Anyway, um, the boys are back <laughs> with their newest release, Nectar, as well as part 3 of that album. I can never remember the name of it, hold on. Fantasy. I really should be able to remember that, but for some reason I always think that it's the name of a previous part, like, you know, how they each have their individual name. Anyway, um, so part three, Love Letter. This only has a couple of songs on it, so it's more like, like, a, like a single album type of thing. So there won't be an album reaction per se, but at the very least, I'm very excited to be checking out this music video. So, let's get into it. That's a long ass music video, it is a little over five minutes long. What? It, it, hello <laughs> what are we getting into i'm i'm thankful for it and i'm happy about it but what are we getting into do i have a little mini movie on my hands i don't know but i'm excited um as always i have not seen or heard any teasers in the lead up to this so i do not know what i'm getting into um but as history dictates i will probably enjoy it because i have very 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 much enjoyed uh the vast majority if not all of the boys's previous releases uh, i'm trying to remember Hulon. So yeah, so with their Korean re releases, we typically see them go back and forth between, at least for the last couple of years we've seen this, um, them go back and forth between a bright concept and a dark, darker concept. Um, their last uh, proper comeback was obviously Watch It, which was on the, on the darker concept side. So I guess I'm slightly expecting this to be on the lighter side, but truly, I don't really know, because they can break that trend at any point, and I'll just have to deal with it. So <laughs> let's just find out. Let's see. Nectar, music video, three, two, one, go. Oh, cute. Oh. Oh, this definitely doesn't look like happy fun times. This looks sad. production. Okay, so we're, we're getting like a sentimental pop vibe. Okay, okay this is my shit. This is my shit. This is- f I- like, okay. <laughs> they had me- they had me in the first like 30 seconds or so. They had me. They had me. I was like, oh, are we getting a little bit of a sad bop? Is that- is that- the vibe that we're getting and like to a degree a little bit like a hint of it but that's more because it's not so much sad as it is just emotional it's that nostalgic sentimental pop vibe and as we know i am the biggest sucker in the world for that and this production already it's so crisp and clean and clear and and, and clicky and good and wonderful and ooh. Ooh. The different guitars are stunning. Gorgeous vocals. Yep. Yep. 
Ooh, beautiful mel melody. Oh my god, I got hiccups. Wait, hold on. First things first. Was he doing one of those little, like, little games of, like, you write down the names and see how, like, compatible they are or whatever. Like, one of those little games, because that's really cute. Second of all, that little drum fill there was really nice. <laughs> oh, and seeing if it spells Santa. Okay, amazing. Oh, I, I talked over the drum fill again. My bad. Sorry, I'm very distracted by what's going on. <laughs> really nice. I love this. Oh, I really like the melody. Oh, he's so cute. The melodies here that it's really, really pretty. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's really addictive. The slide on it. <laughs> That's oh, we are not even close to being done. Wait, I need to I need to double check something. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to double check. So the way the just the Korean school year works very very differently to how it does here, but the a new school year begins I think in general around like this time. So we've just gone through a period of some people going through their graduations. And the reason I thought that was because I think I remember seeing like a graduation vlog or something from some idol or other who's obviously just finished school and whatnot. I think I remember seeing that pop up on, on my recommended or something. Um, and so it like triggered that little like, oh, is that is that what we're doing here? Are we specifically making a song to target <laughs> those people who have just gone through a graduation? And moving on to that next step of their life and just tapping into that emotion. Because goddamn, goddamn, that's great and a great idea. But goddamn, the emotions, the emotions. Because I remember, I remember exactly what it feels like uh, when you're graduating, whether it's um, school, university, whatever. Like, it's a wild feeling. It's a really, really strange feeling. Um, and a lot of mixed emotions. And honestly, this music video has kind of summarized it all very, very well because there's there's joy there and there's excitement and wonder and curiosity but also sadness and bitterness and frustration and it's like every emotion under the sun pretty much that you experience in those moments of your life and they've done a really good job of showcasing it so far anyway let's watch this last minute and a half <laughs> Yongsa, 
Literally like a little school vlog type of thing. These scents are like a direct link to my emotions. <laughs> oh, the busted up football. What a vibe. All the messages on the shirts. Oh god. Memories. Memories, man. It's wild that for me, that day, well, I've I've had two graduations in my life. Um, like in terms of uh an event or a day that I've been involved with. Um so I had my my school, which graduation. I, you know, I finished school at sixteen, um, and had the day where like you go around and everyone signs the shirt and all of that sort of stuff. And I actually still have some memories uh, from that from that day. I no longer have the shirt. Lord knows where that disappeared to. But um, sorry, my dog is being. All of the neighborhood dogs are barking. Um, Anyway, yeah, I still have some pretty vivid memories from that day of like going around and signing shirts and having my shirt signed and visiting teachers and, you know, the teachers that we like <laughs> and all of that sort of stuff. And then um, I went from there onto college, uh, college or sixth form, depending on what how you call it, which in the UK is like um, the years like between when you're 16 and 18. Um, so I had that and there wasn't any kind of like special day <laughs> in particular that I remember. I don't really remember anything much. Um, that was just, yeah, it was just one of those things. And then my undergraduate graduation, uh, I, I do very much remember that, you know, walking the stage in my robes, in my hat, my cap and gown, um, getting my diploma and I won a prize for the best creative dissertation in my uh, my year. It's a great time. <laughs> I think I got Amazon vouchers, wonderful. Um, do I remember that? And then I never went to my master's graduation because one, really expensive, <laughs> really expensive to like get like the, the cap and gown and everything and even more so expensive for masters because it's a whole, ex like it's like an extra thing. Um, and just, it's a long day and it, coming out of my masters, I was not doing very well, like mentally and physically. So <laughs> I didn't go to that graduation, but you know, I need to find my master's diploma actually, because I don't know where that is. I should probably find that. I'm gonna have to try and find that later. Anyway, that was my random little talk about my experiences with graduations. Um, but no, it is such a complicated mix of emotions. And I think they've done a really, really good job in capturing that here. And what's interesting to me is that, like, it doesn't matter what country you're in, what culture you're in, you can, you can relate in some way, to some degree, with that feeling. That feeling of a significant chapter in your life coming to a close and having to say goodbye to it and say hello to this new chapter and you don't know really what's going to happen. And that bittersweetness and just all of those complex emotions like it's it's so it's such a a visceral thing um a visceral collection of feelings and i i love that i love that a lot that song was very much my kind of style very much my kind of sound <laughs> i am 
the biggest sucker in the world for sentimental pop songs and that was that all over to a t up and down sentimental pop i loved it i loved every single bit of it some of those melodies and the vocals on it gorgeous stunning incredible yeah that's that's a very me song <laughs> and what i love as well is like you know i was saying about how you know for these last couple of years they've very much gone back and forth between um brighter concepts and darker concepts and but for these past couple of years while they've been doing that there's been i wouldn't say any of them sound the same as each other but there's like a certain vibe a certain kind of energy a certain kind of brighter concept and a certain kind of darker concept that they gravitate towards in both of those um and those respective thingy mobs but for this i would say it is on the lighter side so in a way it does match the pattern still but it's also very very different from their previous brighter concepts um especially their more recent ones and i really appreciate that it's like a slight deviation but not a total deviation from this kind of pattern that they started um yeah that was gorgeous that was absolutely gorgeous and i think a very appropriate appropriate song for the time of year that it is um in korea at least um and maybe for other places in the world i don't know what the school year is like for every single country in the world so <laughs> um who knows uh but it's very different to mine uh the uk school year starts generally in september so very very different <laughs> times of the year anyway um that'll bring me to the end of that let me know your thoughts and feelings on the song and the music video and all of that sort of stuff i will end this one here like i said there will not be an album listen for this i know there is one other new song um because one of the songs is dear which was obviously released something last year i can't remember exactly when um and there is one other b-side uh, but I will probably just listen to that in my own time. But yeah, other than that though, I hope you enjoyed my reaction and my thoughts. And yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.